happy, happy day. Doctor, do you have stress? Ma'am, yes. Doctor, does your wife have stress? Ma'am, no, she's a carrier. Now, governments, they say that there is a housing problem. There's not. I guess there is by definition, but there isn't with regards to reality, as in terms of what reality should be. Uh, there's an immigration problem. There's a red tape, uh, takes forever to get a permit problem. There's a politician problem. But is there a housing problem? Again, remove all those things. And of course, there isn't the big problem are those who walk among us. Dumb is forever. British Columbia, Canada. It's legal to smoke crack in BC. It's illegal to use a plastic straw. So picture some junkie sitting in a public park, smoking crack and drinking lemonade out of a container with a straw. And he gets arrested. Police come up and say, how dare you? Ah, we're gonna give you a citation because you're using the straw in a public place. That's how screwed up the world has become. Can it get any screwier? Oh, of course it can because the liberals are still in power in a lot of different places, British Columbia. In British Columbia, the politicians there make the federal pinkos look a different color. I, I, I mean, they're that bad. I mean, imagine having laws like that in place and people don't get it. They're not standing up and pushing back. You know why? Because they hired somebody to do a job and they assume they're going to do it instead of screwing things up. People just want to work and raise their kids and feed their dogs and cats. And governments are doing this stuff all the time. They're getting away with it. We got to stand up and we got to stop it. President Trump, his tax cuts are the biggest in the world, right? Really, the biggest, the biggest ever. He cut over five and a half trillion, that would be with the T, dollars out of taxes. And it also includes substantial uh, things to make taxes and tax returns and all that stuff easier, more simple. He did that. And you know what? Uh, he said, we got to fix this tax code. So he did it as best as he could and better than anybody else ever has. And then of course, uh, Oh, here, one other thing I want to share with you. He took the tax rate for corporations from 35% to 21. Very substantial, a big deal. A lot of people have moved corporations to the United States from other countries because of those rates and other states. You know, we got that into the mix. It's kind of cool, right? And then, of course, who enters the picture but Biden? Ah! And when you give things away to everybody else and you do pink old things, you have to have more money and you can only get more money if you go to the people who make the money. So taxes have gone up nearly 45% to nearly a little bit of Bad stuff. I mean, Trump, we need you back, don't you know? I mean, many people have said, people, conservative people have said, I hope Trump doesn't go after the people who have done him harm because that would be bad. I look at that and I think, why? They went after him. They continue to go after him every minute of every day. And so many people are saying, I hope he doesn't. He's kind of indicated he might, and that's awful. I get it, the conservative people are nice people, but you know what? Uh, here's an annoying little buzzer there. Whenever somebody walks by your place, brr, off go the bells. Y'all, you have one of them? I think Trump should go after them. They're bad people. If you don't go after them, they're going to be out there. They're going to continue to do it to other people. You know, bullies need to be smacked. And these people are bullies. Is it revenge? Is it justice? I guess it's a bit of both, but maybe both are needed. These people shouldn't do what they're doing. I mean, Al Capone was indicted once. President Trump has been indicted four times. He may be the most honest man in America because they can't find anything to stick. We've had the Russian hoax. We've had so many things. I mean... Come on, guys, for heaven's sakes, move on. Fox Channel, uh, just recently, uh, Hannity had Trump on his show, and he had 3.2 million viewers. Wow, that's a big deal. 3.2 million? I mean, um, okay, I kind of like that kind of stuff. Big number. People are listening. People are paying attention. I bumped into a guy the other night where my wife and I were out going for a walk, and I kind of know the guy. He's a Democrat, so he and I don't really see eye to eye. Don't you know this is in the USA? And uh, we did start talking. And he said, I hate Trump. Can't stand him. I don't want to look at him, and I can't listen to him. I'm going to vote for him. I was fell over in my walk. I said, you're going to vote for me since I like his policies. He's the best. Look what our guys have done. Look at the open borders. Tens and tens of millions of people are here illegally and everything else. It's a problem. And I'm going to vote for Trump. But I hate him. <laughs> Whatever. But at least vote right. And it would appear that Trump is going to be the main man. Although, 
the left continues to do everything they can to prevent him from you know, being the nominee. And once he is the nominee, look out. I mean, what are they going to do to prevent him from being president? They're so wrapped up in all this. Now they're coming up with new things. He's going to be a dictator. You'll have to drag him out of the office, kick and scream, and he won't leave if he goes in. All this stuff is like the Russian hoax. Keep making it up because they're scared to death. It's maybe a good thing. Hey, y'all come back. See ya.